welcome back to Sunshine State Academy's YouTube. This is Miss Kelly here. I'm coming at you today with a little math activity where I used actually a math matching game from my classroom. And I'm also going to be using a whiteboard with a number line today. So I used the math matching game to take out number sentences, addition sentences, and subtraction sentences. I have them mixed up and turned over right in front of me so that I can have a little surprise as I turn them to see if it's gonna be addition or subtraction. And then I pulled out the answers to our addition and subtraction sentences, and I have them sitting right on my side so that I can find them once I have found the number on the number line. So again, I'm using a math matching game um, a basic math matching game, as well as a whiteboard with a number line in order to find my answer. This is a very good way to teach elementary um, addition and subtraction, how to set up addition and subtraction sentences, and how to find the answer using a number line. Okay, my friends, so let's get started. The very first um, card that I turned over was two plus four, that's an addition sentence. We do have a plus sign right here, which does mean addition. So I'm gonna start at my very first number at the beginning of my addition sentence. And that is my number two. So using an Expo or erasable marker, I'm gonna find the number two and I'm gonna put a nice round dot right on top of it, just so that I can hop forward because I am adding now, but I do not wanna lose my place. So we are going from number two plus, which means we're gonna hop forward, we're gonna go four spaces forward. So let's hop one, two, three, four. When I get to my fourth space, I'm gonna circle the number that I finish at, which is the number six on my board. I'm going to go to my answers where I can match from my game. I have the numbers five, four, eight, and six. We did know that two plus four hops forward is going to equal six. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my number six and add it to my addition sentence. Now, when I put up my two cards, I can see that two plus four does equal six. We match them together and we are correct. Alrighty, now erasing off the big numbers here. Should have brought an eraser with me. I'll just use my finger for today, no big deal. We're gonna flip over the next card and let's see if it's gonna be addition or subtraction. Oh, it looks like it's a subtraction sentence. So it does say eight minus four. So with subtraction, so I'm gonna look for my next card. I'm gonna flip it over and we see here that it is a subtraction sentence. Always starting with your subtraction sentences, we start with our uh, largest number because we are going to take away. So we want the biggest number that shows the whole entire group. And then the number that we're gonna take away is right after the minus sign. So starting at the number eight, again, I'm gonna put a nice um, uh, counter size fit there so that I know that where I started was my number eight and I need to hop backwards four spaces. So as we go, I'm making my little curves so that I know each little curve is one. So one, two, three, and four. We did eight, take away four, and that landed me right at the number four. So our subtraction sentence now will look a little something like this, eight minus four equals four. When I look over at my answers, I have five, four, and eight left over. So I can grab my number four, match it to its uh, subtraction sentence, eight minus four equals four, and we know that we have matched these correctly because we check it on our number line. Let me go ahead and erase one more time with my finger. I'm gonna go ahead and turn over the next card. Let's see if it's addition or subtraction. Oh good, it looks like we have another subtraction. So we get another chance to practice our subtraction sentences. So we're starting here with the number seven. Again, subtraction starting with the biggest group. I'm gonna draw my counter right over the number seven. And I know that I'm gonna have to hop backwards two times because we are doing minus. So we're gonna hop one, Hop two, going back in your number line, and the next number is gonna be the number five. So seven minus two equals five. Once I take away um, those two and I end up at five, I can see my two cards that are left over here, five and eight. I can grab my number five, which has my little five ducks on it. I can even count them. I can trace them with my finger if you'd like to practice drawing and writing your numbers. And then again, we're going to match seven minus two equals 
five, and we'll be done with that subtraction problem. We have double checked it because we are using it on the number line, and using the number line is a form to check that we are correct in our addition and subtraction sentences. So I have one more card here to go and then I'll be finished with my um, addition sentences. I know this one's gonna be addition because I grabbed two addition and two subtraction. So I'm gonna pull this one forward. It is four plus four. So I'm gonna start at my number four and because it is a plus sign, you are adding four to your number. We are going to jump forward. We're gonna increase that number, make it bigger. So I need to do four big hops here. One, two, three, and four. And the last number that we land on is the number eight. It is the very last number that I do have in my pile with the eight little Easter eggs. Again, I can count them, I can trace them with my finger, I can trace them with an erasable marker. It's a great way to practice um, uh, number writing as well as subtraction or addition sentence writing. So four plus four, four hops forward gets us to the number eight on our number line. And so we're matching it here, four plus four equals eight, and we are correct because we checked it on our uh, number line. That is our mixture of board games with a little bit of check of the number lines, addition and subtraction, addition. Um, my friends, thank you for joining us today. Have a great day. Remember to keep practicing your numbers, keep practicing your handwriting, always checking on your number line for your answer. Thank you guys, have a good one. Bye.